The Chocolate Soldier. Hector, the chocolate soldier, was very unlucky. He lived in constant fear of melting. At picnics, he could never sit in the sun. He had to sit squashed under ladies' large hats or in the shade of trees. He could never join the other toys at Christmas as they sat around the fire. The fear of melting away was bad enough, but there was an even greater danger. And that was Horrible Oliver. Horrible Oliver was fat and lazy. He loved eating all kinds of chocolate like chocolate eggs and chocolate bunnies. But best of all, he loved eating chocolate soldiers. Oh, I have to spend most of the day hiding from horrible Oliver, sighed Hector to his friends, Edwina the Edwardian doll and Pogo wooden legs. With the help of Edwina and Pogo, Hector always managed to escape. He wanted to join his battalion in the land of snow, where chocolate soldiers never melt. I'm going tonight, he whispered to Edwina and Pogo wooden legs. I'm going to escape tonight. His friends said they would go with him. So, at midnight, they all crept past horrible Oliver's door. lid down the banister and through the cat door and were soon well clear of the house. Then Edwina, the cleverest of the three, said, We must find the sugar mice. They know the way to the land of snow. They found the sugar mice on a stall in the fairground. We're awfully fed up with being hoopla prizes, they said. Can you help Hector find his battalion in the land of snow? Certainly. Climb on our backs. We'll fly you there, but watch out for the wicked snow giants. Suddenly, a big snowball hit Hector and knocked him off his mouse's back. Ow! It's the snow giants! More snowballs hit Edwina and Pogo wooden legs. The friends lay in a crumpled heap. Slowly, the snow giants moved in. But the sugar mice flew on through volley after volley of snowballs to fetch help. Halt! Who goes there? Quick, quick! A chocolate soldier is in danger! So are Edwina and Pogo! To the rescue! Sound the bugle! The battalion moved out. They arrived just in time. And when the snow giants saw them coming, they fled. So Hector was back with his battalion in the land where soldiers never melt. And when his friends said they would visit him, his happiness was complete.